TII Technical Education Systems, Teaching Technology for Tomorrow. Okay, in this video what we want to look at is the internal memory that is available for the Siemens TIA Portal V114. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically convert what you may know as a control relay from a motor controls class into a PLC program. And this is a very useful instruction because it allows you to have an output on your screen that actually doesn't activate anything in the real world and there's some advantages to that. This has really replaced the control relay um, from motor controls. It's kind of made it obsolete on control circuits if you will. So let's just grab, a nor uh, just grab an input and drag it down here and we're going to tie this to just a regular input which I've already created um, the tag for. So we're going to use the left green push button. All right. And that's already been created. Uh, if you haven't seen any of my previous videos, I walk you through how to create tags um, that is shown here. So then we're going to grab a generic output. And we're going to, there's a, there's a couple of different common names out there, internal memory or memory bit or bit. They're common names for it. We're just going to create an internal memory. bit and that's what we're going to call it okay if we're going to have multiple bits and it might be who of you to say bit one bit two bit three and so on once you've created this it's very similar to creating an output on your hmi so you're going to right click you're going to select define tag and this memory is going to pop up here now we've already created a a, a memory bit on a former program for the HMI. So this is M0.1. It usually starts at dot zero if it's a brand new program, but since um, we have a HMI input already tagged to it, it's uh, M0.1 for this one. Okay, so we'll select define here, and that pops up right here. All right, now what I can do is then I can use this for memory. I can also attach it just like you would a control relay to different outputs. So you can come to our, uh, network two, grab an input, grab an output. Now what you can do is you can come over here and type in internal and that pops up right here. You just create that tag name and it'll appear for you. Now let's go ahead and tie this to an output. So we're going to tie this to the left red light, hit enter. And this goes to the terminal zero. And again, we've there are other videos out there that I've created that show you um, how that uh, how to create those output tags. Come down here and let's create another network. So we're going to grab a normally closed, and we're again going to label this internal relay, internal memory bit. And then we will select an output here. Select an output, and we will use the yellow light. Okay, so left yellow light on your C on your TII Technical Education Systems Trainer, and this is now ready to be downloaded and tested. So what can happen here? Maximize this so we can see a little bit better. Um, what can happen here is when this is activated. This will go true, just like a control relay. This will go. This one will go true, and this normally close will go false. Okay. Okay. So let's go ahead and download this now. Go ahead and place this into monitor mode. Now you can see that the yellow light is already on because of the normally close contact of the internal memory bit. But when you come in and you activate the green push button, they switch back and forth. Now this is a very simplistic example of how to use an internal memory. 
But just like out in the field, these things can be used in a, a lot of different ways that you'll see as you progress through uh, learning more about how to program more advanced machinery. This was unit, this is the video for unit 13 in the TII technical education systems uh, manual for the Siemens PLC and HMI trainer. Thanks.